Question 8. Each of these four squares has been cut into two new shapes. So you can see that A and B made a square, C and D made a square, E and F made a square, and G and H made a square. Write the letters of all the new shapes that are hexagons. Now I've put a few notes down the side here just to remind you of what each shape is called and how many sides it's got. So a hexagon, you can see the one that we're interested in is got six sides. Just as a bit of revision, pentagon is five sides, hexagon six sides, heptagon seven sides, octagon eight sides, nonagon nine sides, decagon is ten sides. I haven't put triangle three sides, but that one probably goes without saying. And a four-sided shape, well, they can have various names, but the group that we classify four-sided shapes into is quadrilaterals, okay? So all we need to start doing now is counting sides in each shape and checking which ones have got six sides. The easiest way to do that is to start putting a mark on each of the sides and count. So let's have a go. So shape A has got one, two, three, four sides. So that's got four. That's no good. B has got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is a hexagon. So I can straight away put shape B on there. C has got one, two, three, four, five. That's no good. D has got one, two, three, four, five. That's no good. E is just going to be a triangle, isn't it? One, two, three. Nope. F has got one, two, three, four, five, six. So F has got six, and that's what we're looking for. So F is a hexagon. G has got one, two, three, four, five. Nope. And H, you can see just by looking that that's going to be a triangle. So the only two that have got six sides, which are hexagons, are B and F. Next question says, write the letters of all the new shapes that are pentagons. Well, we've actually done the hard work for this one already. Pentagons have got five sides. And because we've written the numbers of sides at the top here, we can do that straight away. So five sides is shape C, shape D, and shape G. So I just need to write C, D, and G on there. But the crucial thing about this question is knowing the names of your shapes and also counting the number of sides around the outside. And you've got to be doing that carefully when you count. If you can do that, you'll get the marks on the question.